Welcome back everyone. So just like I told you guys this is gonna freeze after installation. Uh it did the same thing. What? So this is step three. Now let's see if it's installed in our uh, system. Right here you can see uh, italk is in my system. You're not gonna click on this and you're not gonna click on this, you're not gonna click anything over here. But it's just gonna keep freezing if you start clicking on it. We'll just go to step three right now. First thing for step three is go to start and open Notepad, Notepad, whatever you call. It. All right, so you have a Notepad, notepad right now. S let's see. Now what you're gonna do is copy this part right here. Tell.exe. It's a it's a batch file created, and this will stop this instance. You can you can read about this right here. What it does. Um, so. What you need to do is just copy paste it, go to file, go to save as, and save it as right here. Name it itall.bat and then save it on your desktop. Okay, so once you save it on your desktop, close this and let me show you where it is it's right here I talk so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on double click on this now oh sorry before doing this let me see yeah before doing this you need to go do the step 4 okay so now you have done this you have first step you install this you went to and now the second step is right here and the fourth step is going to be go to run click on start go to run command and then you can copy paste this service.msc or you can write it as services.msc once you double one click on it please okay so once you click on it you will see all the services in your computer and then all you gotta do is just click on one of it and click I it will take you to ITAL client right here what you need to do is that first needs to stop it okay now you need to click on properties and then click on manual and then click apply click OK and then close this alright so now you have done step 4 uh, now let's go to step 5 step 5 is right here go to your desktop open italk.bat you can change it and I'll show you how you can rename it whatever you want to but this is the step uh, 5 you need to do you need to double click on it you'll see a black screen now what's gonna happen is if you see this sign and uh, your computer did not freeze that means you have applied all the steps right and your computer your XP is having a master 1.0.10 congratulations click OK on it there seems to be italk services running on this computer or authentication key uh, aren't set up properly the service is required for running italk contact your administrator click OK it's alright what we did is we installed the services twice so that's why it happened but you can go now go to, go to italk okay so if you see that error you're done you don't need to click on this again so let me just click on this again just to see what's gonna happen okay so you'll see this and how did I get this let me show you how once I got that error I went to start then I went to all programs then I went to all talk and then I, I clicked on all talk key setup tool let me close this down once I clicked on key setup tools then I clicked on next then I created a new key pair so 
from here let's say I wanted to and for a client computer what you need to do is save this on your USB this is your main important key what you need to do is for best practices I would what I would do I would put this key on a desk make a new folder on desktop okay it's alright uh, okay you can create a folder somewhere that you need you need to remember it I talk client CIMT okay so once you do this click on OK finish now you're doing this for the first time I'm doing it for the second time so I'm not sure if it's gonna work now but we can try okay save key setup and make sure you remember where you save that client key because it's gonna be really important when you go to client computer see right here is iTalk on my desktop what I'm gonna do I'm gonna double click on it Hello. I'm loving it yes so we have 1.0.10 on XP problem solved so here's the thing quick uh, if so once you do this you need to first add the classroom new classroom here uh, what you need to do is then add a computer and you can write a computer name or you can write an IP address I prefer a computer name because it automatically change your computer your, um, your it automatically detects the computer IP if you put a computer name but if you put a uh, just an IP address and if you change for some reason your computer name is changed then it will not detect it so then this is this way you can uh, um, add PCs or whatever uh, you can see right here and then once you double click on it you will see it right here but you can't see it right now because you need to take that folder where I told you to save it you gotta save that folder in your USB on go to your in iTalk and then here is the key uh, in that in the, in the setup here right here is the setup so you need to take this and the folder once you click on this then run now I'm doing this uh, you're, suppose I'm, a, I'm, I'm on the client computer and I'm adding this computer to my system so all I'm going to do is then click next I agree next and then I'm going to take this box out when, when, go, when you go to client computer you're going to take this box out and then install okay once you have iTalk running on your system you can double check it on your own PC if it's gonna work all you gotta do is click right add computer and give your computer name the one you install a uh, master computer on client PC click OK and here it is just click double click on it and just give it a little time and there you go and you see the black screen that means you have done everything right so you can see my screen right now and there you can see what's going on in that screen good luck with the, your testing I have done mine so that means I have what I'm going to do, I'm going to install everything on my labs, all my computer, change it to 1.0.10. And if you like this uh, video, please subscribe. Also, vote on this um, I talk and lab management software. So, uh, I'll be doing a lot of stuff in there. So, please make sure you go to uh, ITT is 
dot is dot or is gray dot so you can just come here and click on add this one sorry free lab management software you can click on it and then you can see right here on the on the bottom it says uh, your word please it's working not working mouse working but other error ITT dot is great is org helpful you can vote anything thank you and if you still need help you can click here and it will take you to my form so you can form and then create it here uh, if you need help you can come here and then uh, if you have a problem you can just whatever you want to say alright thank you so much take care everyone bye bye